Okay, we're going to take the step one, which is still under 250 grams, and we're going to fly it and check the B rotor OSD, which I now have working. So let's get out there and try that B rotor OSD out and see if the information shows up on the screen. Also, I've got a white wire on here that I added for the audio so I can record the audio to my DVR. We'll see if that works too. All right, let's get going. Still no wind, it's getting towards 9 o'clock now. But according to the weather underground, the wind's going to start up very shortly. And it's going to be real windy today. Okay, the flight went pretty well and the OSD was clear, very crisp. I like the readouts. Could tell my battery voltage, artificial horizon, altitude, all that worked. Looked good to me. Also the current. Uh, the audio didn't work. I didn't get any audio, so I don't know if I have to turn something on in the camera or maybe the transmitter's not compatible with the camera as far as the audio goes. I don't know. I have to work that out later. But I'm happy with it so far. Okay, next I want to set up a flight mode switch on my radio so I can toggle through the flight modes and maybe get the stabilization to be able to work, make it easier to fly, and also get my on-screen menu to work so I can change parameters in with my radio through my OSD screen. So I'll work on that next. Thanks for watching, and we'll get back with you later with some more updates on the under 250 grams FPV plane. Keep your light.